Welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are making another video here. This time we are back at Quarry Lake. And uh, let me not forget to set this up while we're starting to talk. If you haven't ever fished from the key at Quarry, then uh, you are missing out. And I wanted to share a little bit about this this location and talk about Quarry in general. I've done this type of video before, but it's been a minute, so. Uh, felt like a good time to come back to it. I'm setting up this other rod because I wanted to give you an example of um, basically like the starter rod for this area. So um, the, the key is a spot, though there's lots of, of, of spots that have been good at Quarry. Um, so when I first started playing, everyone was basically feeder fishing and even spin fishing off of this island here in the middle of the lake. Uh, and then there was a time when over here off the bank, veterans of the game will remember us just spin fishing for hours and hours off the, off the quiet shore over there. Uh, there's been times where just anchoring up your boat in different locations, spin fishing has been the way to go. But the one stable thing is pretty much all the time you can catch pretty good fish off the key um, let's see what we have here mayfly larva is going to be one of your best friends so in general the things that you're targeting at quarry when you first get here if you're feeder fishing is likely going to be char during the day and then burbot at night okay let's just set this pole down because we're going to need to switch over for, to burbot and we'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's just take these one pole at a time. The first two are going to be pretty similar. I don't uh, necessarily love these bloody hooks, but it just ended up on this rig, so whatever. That's not the hook I normally use, but that's the right size. Somewhere around large one or two or even as low as four with mayfly larva is going to target char, and you're going to occasionally get the um, lake trout as well. This is another bait that you can use, stonefly larva, same size hook or thereabouts. Uh, stonefly larva will, again, sort of catch lake trout and other fish, but you can also occasionally get savant trout off of stonefly larva. So if you don't have mayfly larva, or if you want to vary it up, or if the char just aren't biting, sometimes I'll throw out a stonefly larva, and that will uh, also work well. The downside of a lot of these baits, as you've just seen, is you will frequently catch Vendus. Now, let's look at the third rod here. If you want to do feeder fishing, and we're going to come back to this idea, but you can fish for bream in this spot. I'm using bream mix. Garlic dough is the bait of choice for bream at Cory right now. And typically it, it is garlic dough. Every once in a while, pearl barley or red worm might work well also. But try garlic dough first, because it's pretty consistent at Cory. Uh, unlike uh, Wolkov, it does not change as much, it seems like. You'll catch silvers and then the regular bream variety as well. Okay, let's put that rod away. Let's get out this carp rod and let's show you fishing for burbot, okay? So, more feeder fishing. Once it gets to be 2300, which you can do it a little earlier. You certainly can catch burbot before 2300, but by 2300 for sure, you want to have your rod in for burbot. Extra large 1.0 all the way up to extra large 4.0. It's kind of what you want to have on there. Fish pieces is your number one bait, but for burbot, night crawlers will also work. Uh, I typically will use 9.8 fluorocarbon line, but if you're using uh, some sort of uh, mono line this is actually braided I don't remember why I had braided on this but anyway if you're using mono line then you want to have a leader on there around 9 to 10 kil kil uh, kil kilograms on, on your leader that seems to be the sweet spot for burbot so let's go ahead and put this on while we're still talking now there are so many things you can do from this spot we need to talk about location so let's switch another rod over for burbot maybe we can actually see us landing a burbot while we're doing the video um, you basically what we're doing here is we're casting all in this 10 meter hole but if you get around the 10 meter hole you're still in pretty good shape and that goes for char lakers burbot anything that you would catch here savant trout some people will cast full cast some people will 
you know, and remember when we're talking about percentage of casting, it does change based on how many skill points you have and then how heavy a feeder you're using or sinker or whatever it is you're tossing. It all has variety, but some people will go 90% or even full cast and that's fine. And if you're getting a lot of good catches and maybe your the argument is even you're like reaching up towards this part of the hole, I still think you'll catch good, but listen, you don't have to do that. Aim right at the Island aim a little bit right of the island, aim way right of the island. Again, look at this. You're always ending up around this hole. Obviously the map isn't correct. This is one of the few locations in the game. If you're standing at the key here, then the map doesn't quite give you the right spot. So you kind of back up and look and get another perspective here. Now that would be like us standing right at the end. So normally what I do is aim a little right of the island just to kind of play it safe. Anywhere from 50 to 70%. That's where I like it. 50 to 70%. So we'll go ahead and show you another one here with night crawlers. I typically will have fish pieces across the board unless the burbot just aren't biting and if they're not usually that means throw night crawlers in and you'll start catching them all right so that one will go close to 50 percent just want to kind of get some variety see where they're at that night and then just dial in on them okay let's see what we've got here after we get this fish in i want to talk to you about when you first get to quarry what gear you should aim for as a minimum as a minimum because you what, what you'll see i'm using is all gear that is stronger than that sort of 10 kilo range um so we're using a lot of saber 60s out of this spot for reels a lot of gold 80s um alpha 8000s if you've got some of the new reels but those are that's the gear you're going to have after you've been here for a while and you've been making bukus of silver off of all these bur burbot and uh and the fish you catch during the day now what i think is acceptable to start fishing here in other words if you don't have at least this then i think stay stay at um stay at old berg fish fish the, the, the lower lakes until you can at least have 7.5 on your reel and I'm using 7.5 line here, but because I've got 7.5 line, 7.5 reel, this Palmer feeder goes up to 13 kilos. I'm going to put a smaller fluorocarbon leader on there. Now you don't have to fish with leaders here. Honestly, burbot will just about bite on anything, but if you're trying to get as efficient as possible, I like to have uh, the nine to 10 kilo leader. But because this is smaller gear, you'll notice I'm putting a 6.4 liter. Why am I doing that? Because we might hook into a really big trophy burbot. And if I have this level of gear, it's possible that that burbot, it might be an ultra rare bur burbot. It might snap my line. And if something breaks on your rig, you want it to be your leader, preferably. And if not your leader, you want it to be your line. What you don't want it to be is your reel. These are expensive to replace or your rod. Those are expensive to place. So to me, the 7.5 kilo reel with an appropriate feeder rod is your starting point for Corey. Here's another thing. Um, we might have a couple of fish here to pick up. Let's check that out. And let me just kind of talk while we're bringing in these burbot. If you are, oh, this is a nice one. We actually caught a decent burbot here on the video. How nice is that? The burbot were nice to us tonight. This might be a really nice one, actually. Um, if you are newly fishing at Cory, okay? So you've just gotten here, you got a couple of Adriaticas. Burbot at night are more manageable with 7.5 gear. During the day, if you put mayfly larva and other such baits on trying to get char, if you hook into the wrong lake trout, and you will eventually, I've caught trophy lake trout off of mayfly larva. And if you do that, that 7.5 reel is not going to hold, okay? Your line's going to break or your reel's going to bust or it's just going to spool you. So here's another idea for you. When you first get to quarry, fish for burbot at night, which by the way, we said this earlier, starting around 2300 all the way up. If you want to, all the way till 10 a.m., you'll still get burbot. You can get them past that, but they tend to get smaller and smaller. Um... Fish for burbot at night because those that's your money fish. You're going to get a ton of money off these burbot. But during the day, fish for bream. Put garlic dough on there. All you're going to catch are bream and bream species for the most part. 
And your little 7.5 Adriaticas that you've got, that you've been using at Old Berg, and you bring them here to Corey, they can handle that. You're not going to break all your stuff on those lake trout during the day. So wait on the char. Nice 7.1 bourbon. Wait on the char until you've been fishing. I mean, two or three nights of good burbot fishing, you can afford something nicer. I mean, I'm telling you, the money you'll make on these fish, these burbot, is a significant step up. This is on the night crawlers, by the way. So it looks like they're not only biting fish pieces, but they're also biting on the night crawlers tonight. So remember that uh, remember that rod I showed you before, and we'll and I'll pull it out here in just a second. Let's we'll be aggressive with this guy because he's not very very big. In fact, it's not even a burbot. Look at that, common roach. How gross is that? You come to Corey and you're catching common roach again. All right. Let me show you this rod real quick again. Remember, this is not the right one. That's the starter rod. Hold on. Remember what I had when we first started the video during the daytime fishing, right? Again, not the right one. We'll get it right in a minute here. Wait, that should be the right one. Okay, just lagged a little bit. Put a little bit of bream mix on here. If I can find it. I'm blind. There it is. All right, this is our, this is our feeder rod. We've got bream mix, size 8 hook, garlic dough. 24 hours a day you can fish for bream from the from the key okay 24 hours a day still make you're still making quarry money fish sell for more at quarry than anywhere else you've been so you're still making good money here and we'll go show you what that looks like here in just a second but i really think that's a good idea have three rods out for bream during the day and have three rods out for burbot at night when you first get here now, once you have gotten some a little bit better gear, gotten some confidence, you're willing to take some chances, yeah, start throwing mayfly larvae on and go for the char. Because there's no question that char, pound for pound, char are just terrific. Silver and, more importantly, compared to the burbot, they're terrific XP. They really give you that XP, the char do. Always check your cafe orders. You'll see those really nice burbot orders come up occasionally. Of course, they're not up right now, but really nice burbot. The trophy burbot order, you'll be able to fill that before long. The easier burbot orders for the smaller ones come up. But let's just look real quick. This is the few fish we've caught here. Just look at this. Small little burbot here, worth eight silver. Bigger burbot, 24 silver. Another small one, nine silver. It really adds up. We've hardly caught any fish. Most of these aren't even markers. We're already at 44 silver, okay? So quarry is a great place to make silver. You just need to be smart about it. And the key is a great place to fish. And you can see now what I'm talking about. A lot of people call this the finger, rock by the dock, right? The quay, I guess you pronounce quay, key. So this is the key. And this is a great place to go. There are other places in quarry to try. If you get here and look at this bream. If you get here and this doesn't seem hot, then try other places. But keep trying the key. It's never not hot for long. And in the last few days, it's been on fire. And so sometimes it just goes through those periods of this spot is on fire. It really is. And so this is all feeder fishing. But never fear. Where did I get into spin fishing into this game? It wasn't until I got here, until I got to quarry. This is a great place to spin fish from, okay? Look at that nice bream. I mean, that's money. You, you make good money off of those. It's not a char. It's not the same thing you're going to get for a char, but it is still good money. All right, what am I trying to do here? I'm going to show you one more thing, and we're going to wrap this up, okay? Let's see what we got on here. I don't want to rob you out of the opportunity to see another burbot here. See, as the silver just pours in, right? We're just, we're just bringing the silver in, one fish after another. And burbot are not real taxing fish. They don't typically spool you. That's why you can fish for them with smaller gear than most species, because even though it's going to be a long fight for you on that 7.5 with some of these burbot, they're not usually aggressively spooling you like some of those carp will, and, and really many other species will. Uh, and so that's why you can get away with a little bit smaller gear targeting burbot when you first get here. Okay? So another thing you can do though and this is this is where i literally got into spin fishing is when i got to quarry right and i mean it's 3:45 in the morning so we're probably not catching anything i mean this is straight up burbot time but 
anywhere. I mean, just cast it out there. Get your retrieval speed to 25, right? Let it sink a little bit. Kind of watching our bourbon sticks there. Let it sink a little bit, and then you just start fishing. There are only a handful of spots like this in the game. There's a couple of them on Volkov, Volkov that's so fun. But this is as good as any. Only a couple spots like this where you can have feeders, two feeders out in the day, and then spin fish all day from this spot. And you'll just catch fish after fish. And so when you're spin fishing, you're not just thinking about char. Oh, I thought we had some. You're thinking about lake trout. You're thinking about savan trout, arctic trout, quarry char. Um, did I say arctic trout? I think it's arctic char, isn't it? Arctic char, quarry char, you'll catch those here. Um, just, of course, you'll get perch. You don't typically get pike. If you've cast in this direction, you're not typically going to land a pike. So um, what do we have on this? We don't even have a leader on this because this is what we were trolling with yesterday. But um, I can't get jig step to come back. That's the one frustration. And I think at, uh, at times... If jig steps are hard to get because the elevation of the floor or you're just struggling to maintain jig step, it's hard for me to talk and fish at the same time. But uh, at times, it's better to try to do stop and go from this spot. There we go. I'm glad we got to at least show you something. And this might be a little burbot. I mean, who knows what this is in the middle of the night. Well, it's after four now, so this is probably just an early fish that's excited about excited about the day. Yeah, it's a little perch. Oh, this this burbot is, is for real. It's another for real burbot. But this spot is terrific. Don't miss out on the key at Cory once you hit level 16. Just need to be ready for it and try to use some of these tips. Think about those leader sizes. Fluorocarbon leaders are your friend. It's not necessary. You'll still catch some burbot without them. But you can be a lot more efficient. And at least what I have found, I get a lot more bites when I've got the right leader on, or if I'm just using fluorocarbon leader in general. If you think about it, Cory's a really clear lake. There's gonna be a lot of visibility for the fish. And so it would, it would stand to reason, though I didn't program or develop this game, I can't guarantee it works this way, but it would stand to reason that that's why it feels like the right fluorocarbon leader or fluorocarbon line does really increase your chances of catching the fish at Cory. That's how it, that's how it seems. All right, let's do one last uh, one last silver test just to see kind of how one little little portion of us uh, another nice burbot, one little portion of feeding what it can kind of get you. And let me get that other rod out just so it's sitting in here while we're going to look. But um, it was the Model One feeder. This is the other one that had night crawlers on it. And at this time of day, the nice thing about night crawlers, you'll catch an early morning char on that. Because one of the things you sacrifice, if you're fishing for burbot all the way till 10 a.m., you're missing prime char morning. You know, char from 5 to 8 a.m., you catch a lot of char. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So you've seen just a, a few, a few in-game hours of fishing here, and we're already up to 83 silver. So that's what, that's what the key is all about right now. Does the spot die down sometimes? Yes, but it always comes back. This has been one of the more consistent spots at Cory for a long, long time, months and months. I really recommend you try it. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. Uh, I will try to answer them as I can. Uh, and come join us at uh, twitch.tv slash mdoggaming. We'd love to see you here. Join our in-game chat, which if you search for an in-game chat called My Dogs, that's M-Y space D-A-W-G-S, you'll find upwards of 60 to 70 people fishing in there together, just having fun, helping each other. So please come join us. Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you next time. I'm trying to put together a video for a brand new player stepping onto the cottage pond and transitioning to Mosquito Lake. So not sure if that's going to come together, but if it does, that should be what's next. But we'll see. Thanks again for watching.